Hi, my name is Jo and today I'm going to do a video on releasing neck, shoulders and thoracic spine. So this video is great for anybody that has any neck tightness or shoulder or chest tightness or thoracic tightness. Anybody who um, has like a desk job or sits a lot for work, maybe driving. Um, anybody that uses their arms quite a lot for work, especially if it's a lot of forward movement. So for example, like gardening or even um, like a hairdresser or a painter. So this, all these exercises are going to work on opening up through the chest and just getting that nice release through the back. So if you've got a foam roller, that's the best way to do these exercises. You can even do them on a rolled up towel. So if you imagine if you roll up a towel into a log and have it you know, almost as long as this foam roller, then that would be okay as well. Um, if your towel isn't as long as this when you lie it down, so this is 90 centimeters long, what you can do is you can even have some pillows and then have your um, towel next to the pillow. So at least you've got support for the head. So we want our whole spine to be supported. Okay, so if you do have a roller, what you'll do is you'll just have it placed on the ground length legs and you'll just sit on the very end of it and you'll just lower yourself down. Okay, so once you're down, just make sure you feel you do have the whole length of your spine on the roller. So if you do feel that the head's hanging off the back, you're just going to shift your pelvis down a bit lower. Okay, now once you're on the roller, what you want to try to do now is find your neutral position. So what we think about is having our hip bones and pubic bone level to the ceiling, so this is the nice neutral position of the pelvis. You should feel that you have a natural gap underneath your lower back, so you have a natural arch here. You should feel that you've got the ribs and your shoulders just resting heavy. And we just want a little tuck of the chin. So we're thinking about stretching out the neck, stretching through the whole spine. And for some people, this might just be enough just lying on the roller or a towel and just with the arms by the sides. You can start with the palms of the hands facing the floor. And we just think about using gravity to help stretch out the spine and to open up through the chest. And so yeah, you could hold here for a couple of minutes if you wanted to. And then what you can do if you like from here is you can turn the hands and have the palms of your hands facing the ceiling. And we just think about letting the shoulders drop heavy in towards the roller and again, keeping those ribs down. Okay, and again, you can hold this position for a couple of minutes just with the palms of the hands facing the ceiling. And if that feels okay, what you could do is progress the arms out to about a 45 degree angle and then just rest your arms there just to help again stretch out the shoulders so this is just a deeper stretch and then once you've held that for a little bit you can progress all the way up to a 90 degree angle so that's an even deeper stretch for your shoulders if that does feel too strong you just bring your arms down working at that lower level and then progressing higher once that feels easier if you are really really tight through your shoulders your hands might not be on the floor they might be floating so just make sure you don't force your arms to go down if you're quite tight through your shoulders. Okay, so we just don't want to be overstretching. It should just be like a really nice pull through your chest. Okay, and then once you've done that, if you feel that you'd like to progress from there, what you do is you bend the elbows and you let the arms rest down as low as it's comfortable. So this is a goalpost position. And again, if you were really tight through your shoulders, instead of the arms resting on the ground like me, you might have your arms up here instead and that might be pulling quite a lot through your shoulders but if you're flexible the arms will just easily rest on the ground and that just feels like a nice stretch or it might not even feel like a stretch if you're quite flexible okay so those are some really good stretches just holding our arms still and I guess you just breathe in and out while you're holding your stretch if you wanted to work more on mobilizing through the shoulder and through the mid back area what you do is bring your arms by your sides once you've done all those stretches and we just start with the palms and the hands facing the floor. Now just be aware of your core. So we think about the pelvic floor, lower abdominals being engaged. We have that support just to be able to help us balance. Okay, so we're going to be moving our arms and we just don't want to be falling off the roller. So hold through your core and then when you're ready, you'll breathe in to bring the arms towards the ceiling. Let your shoulder blades be really heavy into the roller and then your arms go backwards as low as you can without the ribs lifting. So make sure they don't pop up, they stay down. Once you've gone as low as you can, you'll breathe out and lift the arms to the ceiling and we'll just lower your arms all the way down by your sides. Gently resting the hands down. And then you can go again, so breathing and arms go up. 
um, so over here. So really thinking about getting the shoulder blades heavy so you can release through those shoulders. And now breathing out, lifting the arms up and lowering your arms all the way down. Okay, so if your shoulder's quite tight, you might get to the ceiling and then maybe just to here and that might be pulling quite a lot. So that's where you'd stop and then you bring the arms all the way back down. And if you are quite tight, what you hopefully will feel is the more you do the arm ups, the lower your arms will be able to go. Okay, and just be really aware of those ribs. They will want to pop, but we need to keep them down. So even though we're working on mobilizing the shoulder, we're working on our posture through the spine, and we're also teaching our body how to move the arms separate from the rib cage. So these upper ab muscles need to work to keep those ribs resting down on the roller. And moving the arms separate to the ribs is an important skill to have. So if you can imagine every time you move your arms, if your ribs pop up, your lower back is going to be arching. And that's actually going to put quite a lot of pressure into your spine. Okay, so for some people, their back issues can be related to really tight shoulders and tight armpit lat muscles. Okay, so that's your arm up. Now the other exercise you can do is an angel arm. So turn the hands, the palms of the hands face the ceiling, and then from here we still want to support with the core so we don't fall off. As you start breathing, we're going to circle the arms up and around, and we just go as far as it's comfortable. Ideally the arms will stop in that same position from when you did your arm up, and then you'll breathe out to circle your arms all the way down by your sides, palms of the hands still facing up. And again, breathing, circling your arms up and around, and be really mindful of those ribs, they're still down, they're not flaring up. And then you'll breathe out and circle your arms all the way around. Okay, and again, if you're really tight through your shoulders, you may feel that you can only go part of the way, so it might be there, or even here. But if you're flexible, it just feels easy to move the arms, and it just feels really nice for the spine, really nice for the shoulders. And if it does feel painful, just make sure you do work with that much smaller movement. And if you do have major shoulder issues, this might not be a very good exercise for you, especially if you've got rotator cuff issues or a frozen shoulder, you may want to go back to the arm arcs or just even just resting at that 45 degree angle or by your sides. Okay, so once you've done a few of those angel arms, what you could do is you could combine the two exercises together so we could do an arm circle. So if you want to do your arm circle, you just start the same. So breathe in, circling your arms around. Once you've gone as far as you can, you'll breathe out to lift the arms to the ceiling and you lower your arms all the way down. And you have to turn the palms of the hands to face the ceiling, breathing, circling the arms around, keeping the ribs down, and now breathing our arms up and all the way down. And then we can reverse the direction. So breathing your arms go overhead. So still thinking about those nice heavy shoulder blades. And then breathe out, circle your arms around, nice stretch for your chest. And again, so breathe in, arms coming up, arms going over. And breathing out, circling your arms around. Okay, so lots of exercises you can do on the roller. Those are some really simple ones. And then if you've done that whole routine, what you could do is just go back to those initial stretches, maybe out to that 90 degree angle, and just feel how much easier it is to rest your shoulders down and even that goalpost position may feel a lot easier after doing all those arm arcs. Okay, and I guess the easiest way to come off would just be pulling off.